turtle nerds welcome back to another video if you guys recall in last week's video i got three new really cool really unique looking turtles if you haven't seen that video make sure to check it out it's right up here click that little link it'll direct you over definitely watch that before watching this video but in today's video i want to show you guys how i sort of was able to make a lot more room in my room and how i was essentially able to create a mini pond in my room the reason being these three new hatchlings that i got were not really the size that my hatchlings were they were much larger so I had to take some very interesting steps in order to make it ideal for both these newer larger hatchlings and my cute little babies before we get started with today's video make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and hit the little bell thing so you get notified when I upload new videos a majority of the people watching this are actually not subscribed so just click the button please it really helps me out in the long run plus you get to see more of my sweet old videos also if you don't know I have a patreon with a bunch of exclusive content it's where I upload a lot of behind the scenes stuff and where I actually uploaded a quick short video of my whole room rearranged because I have a lot going on a lot of new things coming and you get added to this list of lovely beautiful people so make sure that you head over there and support me it also encourages me to keep uploading twice a week and keep it up because without you guys and your support I cannot devote enough time to this channel but when there are enough people supporting me I absolutely can please click the link up here or down it's freaking everywhere and join me on patreon with that being said let's head on inside and go check out what I have going on. Now, I'm not sure if you guys recall from last video, but my room is no longer a mess. I've got everything under control now, thankfully. And I'm not really sure how much of the actual, like, building of the mini pond process I filmed. It was just kind of crunch time. I was getting a new animal. I had to just get all of this done. Getting it done took priority over filming, unfortunately. Regardless, though, let's see what I have for film as far as setting this whole thing up. Hopefully, it's something good. So here's this area that I have that I want to use for the new tub. And so these are some of the little new guys that we have here. And this is just a really easy little temporary setup that I just put them in for like the past day or so until I'm able to get the big tub. All of this needs to be away. All of these two enclosures and everything over here needs to be like slid out. And then I need to figure out how best to plop that 75 right here. I'm praying that it fits nicely. Let's just remove the last little bit of stuff and maybe slide this out. I might also roll back this carpet because it's kind of annoying. Tubs have been moved and room for more stupid tubs. Right, so I had a 75 gallon tub that was sitting in here. I have one extra and oh boy, that is filled enough. And turn that off there and we're leak testing it we're gonna make sure that it's not leaking before we bring it in the house because my parents will actually end my life if we find out that it's leaking if it does leak I'm gonna have a very bad time <laughs> I'm a legend. I'm an actual legend. It just barely squeezed by. What I did was to not scratch the wall. I pulled it inwards and then like shimmied it like that, and like that, and it's just pulled it and pushed it and make sure that it's flat and make sure that it's all even on this side. Make sure that there's room in the back for the outlet. And in case I need to get some power, I can reach a Swiffer back there. And we are in freaking business. Sorry, buggers. Just give me one minute and they'll be in their new setup. Oh my God. So here we have this 75 gallon tough stuff, this 75 gallon tough stuff stock tank. Oh, I speak English. I've actually had this tub for a while now. I think this was the original one that I actually had a couple of years ago. And I have a couple of things that aren't maybe necessary for hatchlings, but I kind of went overboard with this. So as we get down here, we have that Eheim Jaeger. I think that's a 300 watt heater to keep the water at 82 degrees. That's a Fluval U4 internal filter. We have a whole bunch of fake plants in here. And then we also have an all-in-one heat bulb. It's UVA and UVB, which is not entirely necessary for hatchlings, but I like to provide it because it's a little bit more natural. And these guys are a little bit larger. See, there's one there, one right over here. And the last one is right back there. Those are the three new additions, if you guys remember from last video. And now if you look here, these are my five hatchlings that I have. The sixth one was shipped out to the giveaway winner. He is safely in his new home and super happy. I'm very pleased with 
the man who won Terrence Smith, so another little congratulations to him. And I just want you all to know that that Terrapin is happy and healthy in his new enclosure. But check out this tub here. So what I did was I took this tub and I drilled a bunch of holes. We can see over here, over here, over here, all around I drilled holes. And the reason that I did this was so that way they're sharing water with this outside environment filtered by that filter right there, filtered by the Fluval U4 and heated by that heater right there. So the water that in here is the same as out here. I don't need a heater in this enclosure or a filter in this enclosure because it's the same water as out here. So it allows for good water exchange and also every couple days I just take a couple cupfuls of water and I remove and put it out here and put this in here just to ensure proper water flow. But check it out, this is actually turning out to be a really neat little enclosure for these little hatchlings. Rather than getting fed once a day like their larger counterparts over here, these guys are getting fed twice a day to help them try to catch up to the larger terrapins. Let's get these smaller guys a little bit of extra food for today. Let's see what we can do. We're just gonna pop this in here and let's check them out here. These guys have become really aggressive eaters. It's kind of awesome. They're eating just about anything that hits the water. See all those little pellets? They will absolutely take down. These guys are doing great. And like I mentioned, they don't really need a heat lamp or a basking spot because these guys are fresh hatchlings. And hatchlings usually in the wild do not bask much. So I don't think that it's entirely necessary to provide one for the first year of their lives. I'm providing one for these larger terrapins right down here just because I think it's a little bit more natural. But it's not not really worth it for me to set up a whole nother basking thing right in here when I can just wait a couple months until they're older and just plop them out where they have access to that one. This enclosure is built in stages. So first they're gonna go from here, start to get larger and come on out here to have more space to swim around and adventure. Once all of them grow and catch up, I'll be able to remove this, give them even more room to share. And then as these guys grow up and start getting larger and larger, all I have to do is fill up the water level. So like I said, I mean, this is pretty much it. It's just a mini pond inside of my room. We walk in here and I've got this whole rack set up, which we'll talk about. Mystery turtle is right underneath here. But this is pretty much it. You see, it just kind of fits absolutely perfectly perfectly in the corner of my room. And uh, I was able to just shimmy that sucker in here, get it hooked up to a power strip down right under here, get the lights on a timer right there. And that is it. This is my new little Terrapin mini pond. You guys saw, I really, I had tubs and turtles freaking everywhere, but now I got this rack set up. I've got this tub here. Rather than needing like two or three setups, I just need one. And I have made beautiful use of my space here. I'm very, very excited. And now I have plenty of room. Right now it's just kind of storage, except for right there, but I have plenty of room for other critters now. So super exciting. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.